What's going on everybody? Jerry with 3DHP and after this really super fast intro <laughs> I'm going to hook up a better exhaust fan. I got a 195 right now. I'm, I got an AC Infinity 365 I'm going to hook up. I've got new ducking and we'll get, in, oh, to, we'll get into all that right after this. <laughs> Ready, let's see what we got here. Use my official unboxing knife. And I ordered this off of Amazon here in Vegas. Inline fan, six inch. The AC one penny box. So I can get that in front of the camera so you can see it. Nice colorful little booklet. Explains everything. I guess we're going to use this for plants or such. Shows different fans. Paper talks about hooking it up, mounting it. Now, this being a six inch, I'm going to have to put reducers on it because my current blast gates that goes to my fiber and to my laser matic, my laser matic uh, Raleigh are four inch lines. So I wanted to move a lot of air, get it outside, so. Got a great big fan inside there. Nice long power cord, appears to be. Has a ground lug on it, ground connector. For US. Taking a guess, I'll say the cord is um, probably about eight foot. Okay, so we got paperwork. Looks like we got a remote control possibly. And some other adapters, zip ties, mounting hardware, a leather strap, I guess that's for mounting it or if you want to suspend it, possibly. I'm going to be mounting this to the wall. So that looking pretty good. Now in a minute here I'm going to have to jump online. Um, probably printable, see what they got, and I'll try to find a couple adapters. So. Hopefully find something I can do it in black and put some adapters on it and hook up my forged lines on both sides. Now here I got a 25 foot AC infinity hose here. Because that cheap silver dryer hose does work, but if you move it around a lot, you'll tear a hole in it. And then you're wondering why it smells like smoke in your house. Because you might have a little rip somewhere. And this I believe is four layers thick. 
put a link on the screen here so you can take a look at it where I got it. It says flexible, multi-layer, easy to install. Looks like it comes with a couple clamps, two clamps. Always figure out how many clamps you need, you can always order extra. But this comes with two. And this is 25 foot long, so I'll be cutting it down. I'll mount this to the wall, it'll go out and go outside of the house. And then I'll have the other end will go down to my two blast gates. I'll go to a Y, and then I'll go to one blast gate, the other blast gate, then to my Haltian fiber laser. And the other end will go to my Raleigh MK2. Okay, and this has the foil inside. And I'm not going to pull it out with this 25 foot long. So I'll just cut it where I need to cut it and uh, you know clamp it up. If everything clamped up really good, if I have to, I'll use aluminum tape on some of the fittings and then clamp on top of them. But hopefully I won't have to do that. And I'm hoping that my adapters will fit tight enough on here that I won't have to tape them. But if I have to, I can always put foil tape on it to hold them tight. So hopefully they'll be nice and snug the ones I printed out. <coughs> you can buy them online, but they're like $15 to $20 a piece. I'm a 3D printer guy. Why would I want to buy them for 15 or 20 a piece when I can just print them? If, you know, and then if you can't find them online to print, go on the Tinkercad or some program and design them and print them. It's all pretty simple for the most part. So let me take a quick look on printables, or I'll take you guys with me and I'll show you what I can find and what I'm going to print, and then I'll probably do a time lapse of them so you can see it, and we'll come right back and see how they fit. Okay, we're going to need two adapters to go on that Infinity, so here's the ones here that I chose to print. And this is by someone called Bill Ness. It's going from 6 inch to 4 inch, and this is a similar AC Infinity that I have. So hopefully uh, they'll print out nice. And I do have some, well, I want to print them black. It doesn't matter if they're PLA PET G, or PET G, but I do have some Bamboo Labs carbon fiber black that they sent me a while back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, use that for the simple fact that it's the right color. So we'll get them printed right away on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. I'll show you a quick time lapse and then we'll get to installing. Okay, here we are. They're all done. We're back. Let's see how they fit. You're seeing it for the first time, the same as me. Okay, they do fit over the outside. I am going to have to tape them on, I believe, because I don't think they're going to hold on. With all the suction, one side may, but the other side blowing, going escaping out of the house will probably blow off. So they can easily be foil taped on. But they do fit, so that's a good deal. Um, there's a lip here on the top side, so let's see if this other hose fits. It's not easily going over it. I might be able to manipulate it, manipulate it to fit. If not, I'll have to bundle up against it and tape it. But I think if I play with it for a little bit, I'll be able to get it over there on it, and then I can hose clamp it. So I think it's going to work out okay. Right now, it appears to be the same size, but I think I might be able to get that done. We'll find out when I get it all hooked, start hooking everything up. So let's jump in the other room and start mounting. Oh, I guess I could turn them on real quick. I don't want to mount and have it all done, and then it doesn't work. So, let's well. Let me wait till I get in another room, read the paperwork, and then I'll plug it in try it. But the mounting holes are underneath it, so I'm pretty sure I take out the screws and take out that center section where the fan is. I mount it and I put the center section back in and screw it back down with these two screws. Have it mounted on the wall, like such, with the logo 
probably coming straight. Uh, well, the logo would have to be aiming down. So that'll work out. Anyway, let's jump in another room, start taking stuff apart, and we'll get going. Okay, let's take a look at my current setup here, kind of see how I got it routed. And I need to take out the inside fan on the Rolly. Um, that's not needed since I'm going to have the bigger fan or the smaller fan up there. But I haven't removed it yet, so that needs to come out. It works, but it doesn't put out the kind of power that I would like. So we've got the flex hose here. We've got my uh, blast gates right there. And the reason I have the string on the shelf to support it is so that all that weight doesn't rip the tape, which has happened before. All that hanging down like that. Then I got a big duct down here on my How TN fiber laser. And uh, let's see how loud this is by itself, the 195. Now, the 195 CFM does not have enough power to uh, blow the door open on the outside. So let me show you that. And it's all metal. Got that from Lowe's. So I simply come out here and I click it open. And it works really good. It's got a magnet. So when I shut it off, it'll magnetically close. No bugs or nothing gets in. It seals very nicely. I love these versus this type of vent that I had before, which I had too low. So then I mounted it higher on the wall to get the fumes up and out. And whenever I work with brass engraving a coin, doing a deep engraving the fiber laser, I get a lot of uh, debris from the brass. I have to clean that off the wall. So that's how that works. Now, how loud the fan will actually be will de depend on your environment. Are you in a small room? Are you in a big room? Which blast gate do you have open? Where are you hearing more noise? So a little bit of everything affects it. But let's start taking things apart and uh, we'll get the new setup going. Alrighty, got everything all hooked up. Uh, looks pretty good. I found a stud, so when I mounted that back plate, uh, they got a stud on one side and the anchors on the other side. And then I used foil tape, as you can see, to hold on the two adapters. And I got the cord all hooked up. I've got a Y that I printed out here off of some side year, years ago, and I got one screw on the inside holding that there. Then I got my two waste gates. This is for the diode laser, the Raleigh, or the yeah, Rolly, excuse me. Then another wastegate here, which goes over to uh, the Houtian fiber laser. And then I got it up there, got everything clamped up. Looks pretty good. It has a very long extension cord for the remote. It's uh, probably like eight foot. It's a really long cord. So I've got that laying right here. The wastegate, which is magnetic on the outside. The door is shut currently. And uh, as you've seen with the other one, it didn't have enough power on the 195 CFM to blow the door open. Let's see how well this one does. Let's let go out here and I'll show you that it's shut. See right there, that's closed. And let's fire it up and see what it sounds like. Okay, there it's turned all the way on high. And the door is open. A lot of airflow. And it's a little bit louder, but it's not bad. And like I say, you can adjust it for whatever you want here. Okay, that turned it off. kind of click it up to where you want it and that's just a hair over halfway you can mount it on the wall if you like pull a lot of air in 
there I took the fan out of the rolly, left the grill in. You open up to the wastegate. Okay, now they're both open. Yeah, a lot of suction. Yeah, appears to be doing good. So very cool. One click and it should go right off. Yep. And then I'll let's close the gate that I'm not going to be using right now. Go back outside here. And the gate needs it's a little stuck. It needs to be oiled. Normally it goes right shut, but there it goes. There's a magnet holding it shut so it won't come open on its own. <clears throat> but if you've liked the video or you're considering uh buying something like this, I'll have links below. I have links to the fan below. All of the ducking, duct, the duct work that I got here, the wastegates, the foil tape, anything you see here, the Haotian fiber laser will be links, the Raleigh Lasermatic MK2, I'll have links, so please like, subscribe, share, and thank you very much to all my channel members, they'll, have a, they'll be shown right here on the screen. Uh, like I say, help, I'm trying to grow my channel, hope you like my content, and everybody have an awesome day. And one other thing I forgot to mention. Here's the Vivo Sun. You can see right there, it's a 195 inline. Like I said, I've had this for around two years. It works perfectly fine for one, one item. And it might work good for two, but I wanted more suction. So, like I say, if you'd like to get something like the 195 CFM Vivo Sun, that link will be down below also. So, thank you everybody. Later.